So we uh, we have seen uh, that Henry Cavill has spoken out uh, in regards to the Me Too uh, movement and that he's afraid of dating women and uh, because he is a well very well known uh, actor uh, now and he's afraid of being co- falsely accused of being a rapist and I mean this is what happens when something like a me too movement goes out of control but so far the only thing that has come out of the me too movement is that uh, Harvey Weinstein uh, scandal but he he hasn't been convicted yet and he uh, surrendered himself to the police but uh, so far that's uh, that's the only case and uh, everything else uh, regarding uh, what very well known people that have been accused Ben Affleck, uh, Kevin Spacey, and other uh, other well known men, and none of them have have been convicted of anything. And uh, for uh, for someone like this to actually say something that he's afraid of what this feminist movement is actually doing to. Um, to uh, men like him that are in a precarious situation that can just be accused on a dime if the women don't like him so I c- completely understand him and this is what Hollywood has uh, has done to uh, to this climate of these actors being in where you, you just listen and believe and uh, except for when it's Justin Trudeau of course then it's uh, a whole different thing and then th- this goes uh, also towards what uh, what has happened with Scarlett Johansson and people bullying her basically out of a role because uh, she's not a trans person, even though trans people have been uh, portrayed on movies by uh, regular actors that aren't trans before, but somehow now it's a problem. And you know what's gonna happen? Uh, because she pulled out of the project, the movie is not going to be made. You screech and screech about representation and uh, promoting uh, uh, these these movies that represent trans people and and marginalized uh, voices, so to speak. Well, this is their language, not mine. And when they finally get one, they manage to bully the person that's supposed to uh, act uh, the this uh, real person that actually uh, existed uh, in a movie, and you you bully that person because uh, the, it sh- she is somehow taking uh, roles from um, from trans actors. Now let me ask you this question, SJWs: What trans actor has the star power? of Scarlett Johansson no one and uh, can you even name a trans actor off the top of your head you would have to do uh, to do some google search I don't know anyone uh, that is a trans actor that uh, uh, I can even name and uh, for someone uh, uh, that is so unknown there are probably trans act- uh, actors and actresses but for for them to uh, portray a female to male uh, transgender and actually draw an audience and for people to watch the movie Scarlett Johansson would be the best pick but because SJWs get outraged by everything they have to bully her I've seen tweets people uh, celebrating this uh, that she uh, she stepped away from the role, and what is very curious is this is the exact same thing that supposedly happened to Kelly Marie Tran, but the same media, the same people, they're silent or either uh, were the ones uh, try- uh, harassing and and complaining and bitching. Uh, about Scarlett Johansson, isn't that very interesting? That it's uh, when it suits them, 
they can throw the victim card and uh, and the harassment uh, card when the, uh, the people they support and want to be portrayed they they get allegedly harassed because Kelly Marie Tran or anyone else uh, near her never confirmed that it was uh, because of that she um, she left uh, Instagram because Daisy Ridley did it. I mean, uh, uh, John Boyega is silent on uh, on Twitter because they're shooting episode nine, and I think it has uh, something to do with that, a correlation with that. But when it's Scarlett Johansson, uh, and uh, it's a a trans role, oh, let's just open the floodgates, uh, won't we? Just open the floodgates and bully. Uh, this uh, this female for uh, for uh, taking a role that's her big crime. It's a, a, a big crime taking a role uh, of a trans person. She uh, thought was uh, an interesting story and an interesting movie to do. And uh, all you have to offer is just harass uh, the person. Congratulations, congratulations, SJWs. Uh, your your double standard, just it, it's amazing. It never ceases to amaze me that uh, how how you can uh, flip on a dime. So you have just uh, just uh, a week or two ago, you were still complaining about Kelly Marie Tran be, being uh, harassed, but then you do do this just uh, just days uh, um, a few weeks later. And and you don't see the hypocrisy. That's that's just amazing. That's just amazing. And I I feel with Henry Cavill, I see his argument, and I see um, this also with Scarlett Johansson. It's just just a, uh, such a shame. It's such a shame. And the this movie is not gonna happen. Uh, it's not gonna happen. And uh, regarding uh, the the Henry Cavill uh, situation. I mean, this is gonna, if if things don't improve. I mean, men are just not gonna approach women. I'm afraid to say, uh, because they're gonna uh, or we're. I'm not gonna uh, speak for everyone. I think men are just gonna be uh, uh, afraid of uh, of being uh, having their lives ruined uh, because women uh, uh, have so much power over over men. In re- in regards to this, and can can just ruin someone's life because they felt vengeful or or slighted or anything like that, and yeah, I think people just have to be honest to each other, and uh, things also have to change because right now it seems like women have uh, more power at least socially, maybe also uh, some uh, some places in the West at least. Legally as well, like uh, like uh, sexual assaults and uh, and things like that. But yeah, anyways, uh, those are my thoughts. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.